And I haven't mentioned the Classico between Stade Francais and Toulouse yet, but I think it might be about to come up because it's time for our meter moment of the week. Is it from the Classico, Johnny? 100%, mate. Absolutely. Meter moment of the week goes to Lua Mappe for me. Um, the Stade Francais 12, who is an absolute freak show with ball in hand. He's so good to watch. But it was a tied game, like 16 all. Again, it was a bit of a damp square of the game, but 82nd minute, last play of the game, the counter's gone red and the ball comes out to Lua Mappe. Nothing is really on, but bang, explosive power. There's a three on three defensive edge. He steps inside Pierre Fusak with an awesome step off his right. He sits down the scrum half. Pajrello on his backside, breaks another tackle and then offloads to Hamadawi to win the game and break to lose hearts in the 82nd minute and he made it look easy. Um, and we've seen him do it in the past for the All Blacks and for the Hurricanes, um, but this was a moment of magic and brilliance in the top 14 this weekend and so easily the meter moment of the weekend for me. Um, and the best bit, again, it didn't go down well with the opposition bench, but the reaction of the Stade Francais bench, the staff, and the fans, it was absolutely ph phenomenal. So the, the break and the piece of play by Lua Mappe, um, world-class piece of play and easily the meter moment of the week. Do you agree, Benji? And Lua Mappe hasn't exactly torn it up early in his top 14 career, has he? So is this him kind of settling in and announcing himself fully for Stade Francais? Well, when you sign in, you, I'm sure there's a huge financial commitment with him. When you sign such a superstar, you expect him to deliver on the, on the pitch. But when he does on such a crucial moment on a clutch moment or whatever you want to call it it's it's even the, the, it's just the more sweeter um and so i'm actually happy for him just because you know you want guys to to live up to the reputation and like johnny said there wasn't much there but boy did he deliver the only upset thing thing that i've got with that the reaction of the of the of the of the, of the stat bench Laurent Sampere, gonzalo quesada and julian arias who i played with all three of them um is it, it was was genuine, was heartfelt, and that was awesome, right? The only issue that I've got for me personally, the ref completely melted in the last couple of minutes, and there was at least two Shocking. or three tough calls that he just did not make, including, and I think that's the reason why Toulouse got so pissed off, because there's a clear contest by this big guy Yuyut. He's a good Yuyut. player, mate. Very good. The second row, or, and remember Joe Tecori said he's probably the only guy that could take home his legacy over the biggest drinker of Toulouse. So beware. <laughs> Watch out. Um, and, man, and he, he's definitely got the hands on the ball and he's pulling it, pulling it, pulling it, hands off for some whatever reason. He just doesn't want to take the tough play because it's, um, oh, hang on, no, it's a draw. Is it a draw again? Yeah. It's a it's draw. It's a draw when they play. And so imagine a penalty could have been the winning Ken penalty. If they score, they score. You know, nobody can say anything. If you give the winning penalty, it's the ref that's sort of responsible for it. And he just clearly stepped away, didn't want to say anything because he didn't want to start to lose because of his de decision. Um, and then the game on that Paris. same play, on that same play, that's when they chucked the ball to Mbappe and he scores. So they were furious. And there and, were three. I think, unfortunately, unfortunately, it's it's pretty fair for them to be furious about it. There were three as well that they had all they had fair right to be furious with. The, furious with the first one was JJ Vandermesh has like a shoulder charge on Joe Tecori's head. It goes to the TMO and the referee almost argues with the TMO to bring it down from a red to a yellow. So the TMO is saying, look, he's contacted his head. It's a red card. But he says, no, 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 it's a yellow. Just gives him a yellow. That's the first one. The UU penalty, the phase before that doesn't allow the penalty for Toulouse. They were raging. And then there was a scrum penalty as well. That was a clear scrum penalty to Toulouse. So again, that's a huge win for Stade Francais because the last five minutes, everything was stacked against them. They should have been penalized three or four different ways. Um, but again, doesn't take away from the reaction, the piece of play that was magical um, by Lua Mappe. Absolutely. Not the referee, but Lua Mappe's break. That was Johnny and Benji's meter moment of the week. And meter is the world's number one wireless meat thermometer. Recently making over 11 million cooks better with their game-changing app and completely wireless Bluetooth meat probe. You can use it on a barbecue, in the oven, or in a pan, and you can get your hands on one at meter.com and get 10% off any full price item with the code FRENCHPOD10 at checkout as well. Plus, for another few days until the 11th of March, you can be in with a chance of winning a trip to Marcus Borden's UK Barbecue School in the heart of the Devon countryside with every purchase of an ultimate bundle. For more details and to be in with a chance to win, just visit meter.com and look for the ultimate bundle. <laughs> 